Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Alright, so I'm gonna open up this card It's got my name on it Oh my gosh, look how thoughtful they were! For our baby moon, for me and my wife. We got four amazing chocolates. Best wishes for a lifetime of health and happiness for your baby to be. Enjoy all the wonderful moments ahead. Oh my gosh! This is from the director, Eric. Thank you, Eric! Oh my god, you're so awesome! Oh Jumping gosh. from cliffs so high. Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Alright guys, this is room 979 at the Grand Height, Manchester, San Diego and we are at the Seaside Tower. There's two towers here. This is our bedroom. This is where they put us while they were waiting. This is the signature suite. It's got a small little, well, two desks really. You got the drawer, and you got a little fridge in here, I believe. Got a fridge, got drawers, you got a nice TV. You got a little coffee machine, tea, little sitting chair, and a little couch overlooking the parking. As you guys can see, it's the convention center there. And a view of the pool. Of course, that's the people right there on the bottom. Check that in. <laughs> so here we go. This is 977. This is the signature suite. Got a little kitchenette and a little welcome gift. It's very nice of them to do that. Congratulations! Wonderful. Very, very nice. Modern decor. Again, this little kitchenette here. What they got in here? Nothing really downstairs. Got some nice decor, microwave oven, wine bottle. Nothing else. It's really just a. This is just really this like a holding room. This is wonderful. I'm really excited. After all these years, going back to where it all started. 
matrix. It's a little bit frayed and worn here, but I guess that's the highest it goes. Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Making love now it's casual. And you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first. You're my baby. It's true. It's true. You're so damn worth There's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are You're one of a kind No words to describe The way that you shine An angel in disguise I oh, wanna make you mine One time Like nothing in here, bro. That's yeah, such a tiny lobster. Oh really, I can't use my knife. Creamy. 
Alright, so this is the chimichurri sauce and I added a little bit of uh, the sun-dried tomatoes. It's got a little bit of uh, these uh, little red, red little uh, chili peppers in there too. It's got a mild kick. I'm eating while it's hot. Ready? This is the mushroom. Welcome back guys, this is Robin Jew here with another hotel review. Today we are staying at the four star largest hotel in San Diego, the Manchester Grand Hyatt. This is a triple A four diamond rated hotel. Uh, honestly, I think this is probably one of my favorite hotels in San Diego. So let's go in for a deep dive and break it down. All right guys, so per usual, we're gonna give you some of the highlights and lowlights of this wonderful hotel. Uh, we'll begin with the low light so we can end on a high note because we did love this hotel. Right, so as you guys low. saw in the room tour or as you guys can see in the room tour, uh, the bathrooms are very, very basic. It's your typical like white tub with uh, the double lined uh, curtain. Uh, it's not it's not the super beautiful, you know, glass, you know, floor to wall, I mean, floor to ceiling uh, glass with the, with the shower. It's really more the old school bathtub shower combination. Um, it's all right, you know, I expected a little bit more uh, from Grand Hyatt, but if I had to pick a low light, that'd be one of them. Another low light, unfortunately, guys, is the breakfast buffet. I'm um, looking at the receipt in front of me. It's actually $32.95 a person, and then they charge an 18% service fee and another 5% surcharge, and then tax on top of that. So it came out to about, I wanna say about 50, 55 bucks a person with tip. Um, and we did obviously tip our, our, our server very well. He was really good, said oh, we, you're amazing. Uh, but it's a little bit on the pricey side. So I would say it's a low light, um, you know, for something of that caliber around like $50 or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I was expecting something like the Waldorf. Uh, the Waldorf buffet is a little different from this one because they had uh, at least one or two standout dishes. The thing that was missing from this breakfast buffet was like a standout dish. And it did have a huge selection of pastries. You had all the meats, you had the omelet station, the service was excellent. You had the honey, the fresh honeycomb you could just scrape off. Uh, you had all of that, but I just think it was missing like one or two like highlight dishes. You know, you gotta have one or two when you're in a premium hotel like this. And the last low light, unfortunately guys, is the Hyatt or top of the Hyatt lounge. It's on the 40th floor, I believe on the Harbor Tower and it's kind of tucked in towards the back. It's a, it's a lot smaller than you might think for this such a, for such a large hotel space. 
it's a tiny lounge and but it is overlooking the city um honestly we've been there twice already and both times uh we ended up not staying uh this time we didn't stay because it was just too packed it was super loud in there you know it wasn't like typical quiet you know high-end lounge it was more of like a bar style so people were yelling and screaming but they were having a great time and again uh you can over you know you can look at the view of the entire city the waterfront and the city view uh, it's got spectacular views but make sure you get there early uh, unfortunately they open at 4 p.m so if you get there anytime after dinner um, you're really going to have a hard time finding a seat so uh, that was one of the low lights here all right now for the highlights guys there's a long list of highlights but to begin oh i have to say it's the service um, I'm fairly new to Hyatt properties. You know, I'm a member of other hotel groups, but Hyatt, I have to say, the service is superb. Um, everybody here from check-in to even before I checked in, I got an email from the director here, Eric. Uh, Eric is just really, he's very professional, very kind. He even uh, made a little, wrote us a little card as we we're celebrating uh, the, the birth of our first child. A uh, handwritten note with some strawberries. That was very sweet of him to do that. but. Uh, just in general, I think every person that we've interacted uh, from even the, you know, the front desk, you know, requesting for slippers and a bathrobe, uh, Cynthia, Jazzy, everybody in the front was very professional and friendly. They all wished us, uh, you know, congratulations. Um, even this morning, we went, we had our buffet and our server was Sarah Wheat and he was just uh, very, very professional. He made us a delicious cappuccino and mocha. Make sure you guys get that at the seaside. Uh, buffet breakfast buffet but again the service here is a plus another big plus here it would be the location this hotel is adjacent to the Marriott which is adjacent to the San Diego Convention Center uh, it's only about maybe 10 minutes from Petco Park uh, I think last night it was like a 15 minute walk to Gasland where we had dinner and it's, it's really just central and it's on the waterfront very safe uh, there's there's no I haven't seen anything that would make it like sketchy or anything a uh, very nice neighborhood Very very well lit and you can walk around even in the front You know even at night and in the morning you can walk around seaside village after a, a nice meal Or even before your meal to watch the sunrise or sunset. There's a park honestly like right in front of the hotel So just location wise it's hard to beat this hotel uh, I know there's, we, we like the uh, ITC, the Intercontinental, a lot too, but this one might beat that one. <laughs> in the summertime, they have a cinema. So on the rooftop of the Grand Hyatt, they have cinema nights. So you can come and watch a cool movie out in, in the rooftop with the grass. You have a little bar. Uh, so that's going to start in the summer, guys. I know. All right, some final highlights of this giant hotel. Again, it's the largest hotel in San Diego, um, the valet service. It was only 40 bucks per night. Uh, which is actually a good deal. It's a great deal because this hotel is central to all the places in San Diego, really, unless you need to go to like the zoo or, or Legoland. This is great if you're gonna just do a little staycation like my family and I do here in San Diego, or if you're here for the convention, 40 bucks a night for In-N-Out privileges is a steal. So valet parking is definitely a highlight. Another highlight would be if you have children, uh, they have multiple pools. They have like two pools here, as you guys can see in the background. And there's an adult only pool, which is on the Harbor Tower side, I believe on the third floor. But as you guys can see, there's like a grassy area. There's a plenty of space to, for the kids to run around. We've been seeing a lot of babies you know, run around that grassy area. It's, it's, it's artificial turf. Uh, they even have the little bean bag tossing things, full tennis courts. They have a basketball court on top of that uh, parking structure. So it's really an integrated uh, hotel. It, it has all the amenities, more than you can imagine. They even have a FedEx downstairs next to the breakfast buffet. If you ever need to uh, send packages out, if you're here for work, uh, this is a great hotel, guys. So that's it for me and Robin Ju's uh, reviews of our hotel stay in San Diego, arguably the best hotel in San Diego. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights